Edmund asked this question in my Facebook group. So uh, obviously Edmund has in, uh, enrolled into my program. So I can see that you're selling on Shopee. So your question is, if it's still better to create two ads as you already gotten C pass because Shopee has all the data who are warm. Uh, yes, meaning that you know when you're using C pass for those who are new to Shopee selling or Lazada selling or all these uh, e-commerce marketplace selling, C pass is a very powerful tool that you should get when you are given the opportunity. Fundamentally, uh, it's a catalog ads which allows you to retarget people who visited your Shopee store and yet to purchase. In fact, uh, you know, in most of the region that we are in, like Malaysia, Singapore, Philippines, it's not as straightforward. You need to become either a preferred seller or a Shopee more sellers to actually uh, get the access, to have the invitation to use that. However, when you have the opportunity, because the biggest challenge for marketplace selling, whether you're selling this on Shopee, Lazada, or you know, Amazon, I think it's all the same. Um, you are not able to capture people who visited your store because fundamentally it's not your platform. You're not able to install your own Facebook pixel over there and you're missing a lot of opportunities to do the retargeting. Because when it comes to Facebook advertising, we all know that you know uh, it's very difficult to get the people to immediately see your ads, click on, click on your ad, you know, and immediately they want to buy from you. So we want to do retargeting. And uh, retargeting is in fact one of the most powerful things that Facebook ads can offer. And when we are selling on e-commerce marketplaces like Shopee and Lazada, we won't be able to retarget people who visit our store because we can't. It's just simply not ours. But when you have CPASS, you're able to do that. But when you come back to Edmund's question, you know, your question is, since you already have CPASS and you're retargeting your warm audiences who visited your Shopee store, it is still necessary to run two ads. Now, my answer is yes. It is still important. Why? Because, okay, this is the two-step funnel framework that I'm actually preaching right now. Uh, for all the time, for all, I mean, everybody who knows me, I have a framework for Facebook advertising. I call it the two-step funnel framework advertising, whereby we usually constantly have at least two ads running simultaneously, whereby tier one ad is what I call the co-audience targeting ad, whereby this is where we actually, you know, use these ads to really introduce ourselves to the people who are more likely, who are likely to be interested in our product or services, and then we want to bring them into our universe, you see. So when they see our ads, when they click, then when we capture the intent, we are able to run the tier two ad, which is the second advertisement to retarget them. The retargeting is very important because this is where we will keep on reinforcing uh, the key message or the call to action and to influence the audiences to make them buy. So Edmund, you're already running your C pass, which is already target retargeting people. But my question to you is, when you are not having a strong inflow of cold in audiences into your Shopee store, your T2, which is your retargeting ads, is not going to work very effectively because what is really important for this two-step funnel framework to balance out is you need to constantly bring in strong inflow of your tier one audiences. You know, So when you bring all these people in, when they actually see your ads and not purchase, then they will start seeing the second advertisement. So that's the two-step funnel framework. You can actually Google, um, you know, go to my YouTube channel and look for two-step funnel framework. Or if you want to really learn how to build this thing, you can join my six-day challenge. By the way, my six-day challenge for March, uh, we have already opened for enrollment. Uh, you know, this is where I actually go live with you to teach you how do I build, uh, you know, an effective Facebook ads campaign in six days time. So it's very simple, Monday to Saturday. We just completed one yesterday. So Monday to Saturday, every day, uh, we will go live. I will go live to teach you one lesson for an hour. So after the one hour lesson, you'll be given homework. Now, once you have given homework, I will encourage you to do the homework because whatever you do today is gonna prepare you for tomorrow's lesson. So six days down the road, I promise you, I would not hold any secret. I'm just gonna give you everything. And most importantly, it is priced at an insanely low price. Come over, just learn with me for six days and see how you can really do Facebook advertising in an entirely different way. So Edmund, the answer is you should still build a tier one ad so that you're able to bring in strong inflow of audiences for the two-step funnel. And because when you don't have strong inflow coming into your funnel, your C pass ad, your T2 ad is not gonna work very effectively. But thanks for the question, Edmund.